Hey everyone, it's Nalani, Diabetes PA. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to bring down blood sugar quickly without risking hypoglycemia. Um, and we can do this using something that, um, that I call the super bolus, -na 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 -na, um, that I learned through a book called uh, Pumping Insulin by John Walsh. So the super bolus basically allows you to use extra insulin to bring down your blood sugar without risking hypoglycemia later on. And um, we all know that those pesky high blood sugars are really annoying and really difficult because they take forever to come down. Um, and they should. So usually they take about three to four hours to come back to normal glycemia um, without, if you're, if you're doing it the correct way and you're not gonna end up low. If they come, come down any faster than that, then you're most likely gonna end up low later. And that's because that action time of insulin is four hours. So say for instance, you give yourself a correction for a high blood sugar of 300, and then two hours later, your blood sugar is 120, you're likely gonna have a low blood sugar because you still have about two hours worth of active insulin time on board. So um, how can we, bring our blood sugars down more quickly without risking hypoglycemia later on. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, unfortunately, the only way the super bolus works is with an insulin pump. It can't uh, be done with uh, injections. So the way we do it is we can decrease uh, the basal rate for a certain amount of time at a certain percentage and add that decreased insulin from the basal rate onto the correction bolus. So I'm gonna give an example here. Um, let's pretend that Jane has a blood sugar of 300 and her correction factor is one unit for every 50 points above 100. So she would normally give herself four units to bring her blood sugar down. Um, but she wants it to come down more quickly than three to four hours. So what she does instead is she can go in and use a temporary basal rate and set her temporary basal rate at 60%. So that's a decrease of 40% in her basal rate. So if her basal rate is gonna be one unit per hour for the next three hours and she sets a temporary basal of 60%, for three hours, then that means she's decreasing her total insulin within that three hours by 1.8 units. And what she can do then is go and add that 1.8 units onto her correction of four units coming to a total of 5.8 units. Um, I know this is a little bit complicated, so I'll put the formula below so you guys can look at it, but basically it's whatever percentage you're going to be doing your um, temporary basal at. So this, in this instance, it's 60%, so it'd be 0 0.6 times three hours equals 1.8, okay? Um, and then you add that to the correction. So um, anyway, then you can get more insulin, 5.8 units, but you don't risk having a low later because you've decreased your basal insulin. Um, so anyway, that's what the super bolus is. I hope it helps. I know it's a little bit complicated, so com uh, comment below if you have questions. But anyway, happy super bolusing.